All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode of the Play Hard Look Dope podcast, season two. Yes, you heard that correctly. We are in season two. New York City is on fire. Not not literally, but it feels like it. Women are being punched in the face. I'm sorry. Men are punching women on the face at random on the streets of New York. The migrant crisis is out of control. We have officers being shot. The city is just on another level. Squatters have rights. I I'm 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 just as confused as you are. All of that and more on the Play Hard Look Dope podcast. A woman arrested in Queens in her own home after squatters took it over. You heard me correctly. The owner of the house was arrested and the squatters were allowed to take over her house and live there because of squatters' rights in New York City. The catch and release laws in New York City are coming to a head. The citizens are frustrated. The criminals get away with everything. It's just madness. New York City is a madhouse right now. Before we get into the show, I'd like you guys to subscribe and follow wherever you are listening, whether it is on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or right here on YouTube. Your engagement with the episodes help us out so much, more than anything that I could ask for. So please, it's a free thing to do. It's an easy thing to do. Give us a thumbs up. Follow us on our podcast show, Spotify, Apple, and YouTube. As always, you guys, this episode is sponsored by Play Hard Look Dope, mine and John's lifestyle jewelry and apparel brand if you want the best and the highest quality natural gemstone jewelry please click the link in the description support a small business we also have apparel men's women's unisex we have stainless steel sterling silver rings earrings necklaces bracelets anklets Anything that you need to accessorize your style, you can get it right at playhardlookdope.com. This episode is also sponsored by The Real Tea Company. Do you like tea, but you cannot find a really good healthy option for tea that actually tastes good? You do not have to look any further. The Real Tea Company, you guys, is the place. This is my favorite flavor. I love green tea so much that I drink it every single day. I'm not even kidding. It is zero calories for the entire can. It's sweetened with monk fruit. You heard that correctly. There's no added sugar. This is a healthy version for your sweet tea. It tastes great. There's zero sugar. There's 20 grams of caffeine, so you will get your caffeine fix in a healthier way. Drop the Red Bull Ditch the monster drinks. Those are horrible for your health. Pick up a real tea and thank me later. The link is in the description. Use the code E and J to get 10% off your order. And without further ado, guys, let's get into today's show. I know John is waiting for me to finish this intro so we can wrap it up because we have some things to freaking talk about, you guys. It's going to be a packed show. So sit back, grab your popcorn, grab your real tea, okay? And let's get into it. Are you excited for season two? I am super excited for season two. Did you have fun on season one? I had a blast on season one. We got our feet wet. Yeah. I thought we did pretty well. And now season two, let's kick some fucking ass. Yeah, I think season two is going to be like really what we really want to talk about, what we really want to do, trying a new thing and bringing our sort of sometimes private conversations to the public. Like, yeah. Oh my God. Sure. So um, I feel like we should have this thing where you kind of, every single episode, if they're like serious or even if they're not serious, you kind of just give us like the highlights of your day, like highlights of your day, like Johnny moments. What do you think of the that? The highlights of my day today? Yeah. Like Waking so up next to you is number one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going to the gym. Any day you get a workout in, buys and tries today, is a good day. Yeah. Number three. Shipping out all the orders we uh, we accumulated overnight and this morning and getting them out timely, that is so important to me. I make sure to constantly ship. No, yeah, you are like, you are... I don't fuck around. I do better yeah. than Amazon. You do. Yeah. You do. And number four... Oh, you have four things. Okay. Number four, having a good day at the store today. Yeah, that's true. After yeah. a shit-ass winter, the weather's starting yeah. to break a little bit and we got good traction today. What do you have? What do you? What do you? 
drinking? Can I try some of your green tea? I'm drinking green tea from Real Tea. I love this. Zero sugar, that's zero carbs. That's, all, that's what I'm all about. Yeah. Go to the gym. You don't want to be eating sugar and drinking totally. sugar and no, shit for like real. that. Okay, yeah, I get you. Monk fruit, natural sugar. Love it. Let me taste a sip of yours. I could open that one, but it's so nicely placed there that I don't really... <sighs> they have many okay. different flavors. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you. Real tea. So, <sighs> New York City is on fire. It feels like... <sighs> It literally feels like New York City has gone mad. There's so many insane things going on right now. Totally. That, I mean, I don't even know. I think, I don't even want to say the best place to start, but I just think that somewhere we can start is the most recent thing I've been seeing on social media. Men have been randomly punching women in the face on the streets of New York. Like right. video after video after video story. There's footage of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I'm going to show you one. This is just one. The, this is the first one that I saw. So let's take a look at this. And then I want to kind of talk about this. You guys, I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh, my God. I can't even talk. Literally, I fell to the ground. And now this giant goose egg is forming and I'm like, she has a gash on her head. That's unbelievable unfucking believable that we think this is okay yeah and that this is allowed and I'm, tolerated yeah. i feel like it is allowed it is and it's tolerated for someone to literally just think that it's okay to walk up to a stranger punch them in the face unprovoked is there's obviously something wrong with that person thousand percent i mean i don't even think someone that's a that is a and they should be in jail thousand percent but but they're not really they're not they're, they're and like in that particular video i believe that they found him and everyone knows who he is online yeah, yeah and he that. was arrested and i, I i'm pretty sure and he's out he, the next day yeah i'm pretty sure he's out same the next day. day yeah there was a, a woman today who was punched in the face broke her jaw knocked her teeth out oh my gosh she was coming, it was actually yesterday, at five o'clock, she was coming home. She was a, uh, she worked for the school, a crossing guard or something yeah. like that. She was walking home after school okay. in Crown Heights. Mm -hmm. We're in New York City, there's Crown Heights. Random guy punched her in the face, caught the guy, and he's done this at least three times already. <laughs> and the first two times, he was unfit to stand trial. So, I mean, they, wait, but think about, it, think about it. If you're unfit to stand trial, why should you be released out totally. to be in the fucking streets? I don't get that. If you can't be held accountable for your actions, why, why would you throw you them back, back in on the, the street? street for, that's, yeah, I never thought of it like that. So now she has a broken jaw and a, and a missing tooth. No, teeth. Teeth. Teeth, plural. Her jaw is wired. For six weeks, she can't eat food. Holy shit. So, and now he's back out. He's back out. On, like, back, what? They, like, what's so it, what they, they dumbed it down to a misdemeanor. He's back out. I have another one to show you. This one is actually caught on camera. Let's take a look at this. Crazy fucks. He just punched her in the face and walked away. And so th they they know they can get away with it. Yeah. Do you think that's the case that they're what do they what do they just do they do they watch the news or something or they just hear about it word of mouth? But somehow they have their own underground like communication. form of communication that they yeah. know. Yeah, and they're so, like, okay, it's okay to punch random women in the face. I mean, I feel like when something like this happens and then there's tons of videos at one time, it be it's not like it's a trend. But it's now, it's just every day for the last few days, I, I've been seeing it all over the place. This is not something that's new. This has been happening since the pandemic, where they have just let all of these insane people on the streets. Totally. And I feel like, I don't even want to say that there's no plan, because that's like letting them off easy. All of the politicians but and, there is and no the plan. DA and, and the governor and the mayor well, right, and the they lawmakers. They have their own plan. Right. They have their own plan. <laughs> totally. And they, and if you say, like, oh, what, you had no plan, they're going to be like, Right, we had no plan, that's why. No, I feel like their plan is complete chaos. Complete chaos. Like, there is a plan. And their plan it's is working. It is working. It is it's working. It's completely fucking chaotic. Completely fucking chaotic. 
a guy got pushed in front of the subway earlier this week, died. Wow. Died. 54-year-old guy. Did they find the person who yeah, did it? Yeah, they caught the guy. And what was the deal? Same thing. So they have... Rap sheets. So here's, here's the thing as... Um, when I was, I, I guess I would say, not like younger, but when I was not someone who thought on their own. I was told that when the media brought up that they had a rap sheet or a pass, that that was assassinating their character and that that was something that white people and Republicans did to make the black community look bad or the criminal look bad. So I just like ran with that. And I was like, yeah, why, why, why are you bringing up their past? Like, what is wrong with you? But and now I see a pattern. Make them? Right. right. And now I see. So how come? It applies in everything else in life when they say, if you don't know the history, you're going to repeat it. You nailed it. How come it doesn't right. matter the, the when saying it comes is, to a criminal? Those who ignore history are doomed to repeat it. Right. So the guy who killed the cop two days ago. Yeah. 21 prior arrests. 21? 21. It served five years in jail. Gun violence, guns, guns, Do you know guns, how hard guns, it is guns. to actually be arrested 21 times? It is very hard. So it's at, very hard. at what point does it become habitual? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you it's, know it's they're habit. going you to do it. You know they're going to do it again. And a lot of people say, and I read a lot of comments on social media. I'm one of the people that scroll. I, I see a headline. I can read a full article. I'm not one of those dumb people that just read a headline and run with things. You send me articles all the time. You read articles more than I do. But I go in the comments so I can get the temperature of the public. And they're just like, they're like, well, you can't predict crime. You can't predict that this person's going to do it again. That's not fair to them. Maybe they learn their lesson. And I'm thinking to myself, so if you have a husband or a wife or a girlfriend, boyfriend, and they cheat on you three times. You, you you're think they won't me, do it a fourth you time? Think, you're telling me that you, you can't You think they won't do it behavior? 21 right. times? You think, you, I'm like, right. at what point do you start to say, you know what, you've had a history of this and we're going to keep you out of society? Totally. Because totally. at some point it needs to be the responsibility of the fucking people that let these people back out again, totally. again, again, so, again. So again. all the judges and the shitty prosecutors yeah. that allowed this guy to come out 21 times. Totally. Are they not responsible for, for this cop's murder? They are responsible. Well? I feel like, yeah, that's another topic. I mean, that just that just happened a few days ago. And I'm not the biggest fan of cops. No. Well, well we're the least... Fan right, of right, right. Because <laughs> like, they have oh their own God. power trip. They, I, and I, a lot I'm of not, them are douchebags. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. The NYPD, the things that I, I truly have a special place in my heart of dislike for them. Totally, you know, thousand the, percent total the, power the, trip. The power trips. They're running the red lights, the right. sirens. They're not going anywhere when they're speaking out of their speakerphone. They cursed you out that totally, one time. They totally, followed you and they totally, right. tried to run you over down right. the street on your bike, right. and they followed right. you home. Right. Because you wouldn't get out of their way to make a turn fast right, enough. Right. But that said, this guy should not have died. He should not have. And it's terrible. Not while working and, and trying to stop a Someone crime that the guy was going to commit. Right. It would have, which would have been his 22nd conviction. I mean, come so, on and, and now. If you, and if you've come been convicted 21 times, how many times have you done fucked up shit? So like, let me, you know what I'm saying? Because no, you don't right. get caught every time. No, totally. You're not right. going to get caught every right. time. The system's right. not smart enough. Right. You can't get caught every so, time. So like he did a hundred fucked up things and he got caught 21 times. So like 21 times you're going in front of a judge? Yeah. Like do you not there's, have anything else to do There's all shoplifters day? who've been caught over a hundred times in New York City. That's, yeah. I mean, and so- And they let him out. We were jumping all over the place. But um, just to finish up the thoughts of the women who are getting- Oh, sorry. On the streets. One thing that I have noticed- in these videos, some of them, not all of them, lack the description of the person for the public. And that for me, I don't know. That's a that's a cho that's a choice I think that's being made, like a specific choice that they're making to not describe the person. And I don't know why. And I think that as a society or as women, like I don't understand some of these videos, not all of them, because some of them do describe it, but I think it's a definitive choice to not describe them. And I feel like they don't want to be accused or um, be canceled if they describe the person and the person is of a certain race or, you know, of a certain demographic. And I just, I, I want to know from you, 
if you were somebody watching something like that, would you want to know what the person looked like? Because Hell you yeah. know, Hell yeah. you know, when something happens here at the store, I put, I, I, I need the a cameras, full, full description. description. Yeah. What color shoes was he wearing? Totally. Or was it a guy? First of all. Was it a guy? What, what color hair? Right. How tall? What right. was he wearing? Because typically when I was or whatever, but when I was a at the oculus you were on facetime with me totally and you took screenshots totally. of the person right so i could describe so them. you can describe them right. and right. i when i when when the police called me in i think i don't know how long it was after like a month later or a week later, it was something like right. that and they had me go through a a book of fucking people mm -hmm. and i said that's him because I had the screenshot that you took so that mm -hmm. I, I could remember because right. I mean, I'm not going to remember everything about this person. Of course. But when I wrote the report down, I described everything and I showed the picture. And a lot of times on these videos, the women are just saying things that happened to them. And then no one knows who else to look out for. And I read right. the comments and they're like, what do they look like? Right. Right. Are they white? Are they black? Are they right. Hispanic? Are they Asian? Like, yeah. what? How tall are they? What right. color Do they hair? Have facial hair. Right. And it's and I understand like if something happens and you're knocked out senseless, senseless, and you can't really remember. But a lot of these videos are literally describing the things that they were doing that moment, and they just leave out the most important part. They're like, oh, I was sending an email, or oh, I was I was listening to my AirPods, and he was walking with this other guy, and I'm like, the fuck, what did they look like? And I think that that's just something that I, I would want the audience to kind of think about why we're not describing these people. Because there's a reason. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people don't want to be. Year, 20 years ago, people always described yeah. the person. Description is, you know how hard it is for a police officer to try to find someone that they don't know what they right. look like? Right. But I know that you're telling the police officer. You're not telling the public. Right. We also have this migrant crisis, which I... I hate when they put the word crisis at the end because it just, it almost feels like it diminishes the problem. Because they call everything a crisis. Climate crisis, housing crisis, unemployment crisis. Everything's a fucking crisis. So now nothing is really important. Everything's a crisis. I think we should just call it the word crisis is used with everything. What are your first thoughts on the migrant crisis going on? And I don't say that like lightly, but we use right. that word for everything. Right. When myself and my family came here, we came here through legal means. We have had to fill out paperwork and so forth. Then we came here and we became legal and then we could work right away, right? Mm -hmm. You get your working papers, you could work. This is set up for failure because they're allowing these people to walk in undocumented. So who knows who's coming in, right? Right. Are they uh, felons from other countries? Are they whatever? Have they done a lot of bad shit? Yeah. And are they coming in here? Are they cells? Who are they? Mm -hmm. A lot of them are good people, I'm sure, right? But they're coming here. The U.S. doesn't know anything about them. When we got our apartment, they ran a full background oh, check gosh. on us. A full background full check. Back on both of us. On both of us. Yeah. To live in a building. Yeah. To, to, but, to, that we are, we are, we are willing to pay right. to live, and you're, gonna, you're running, and you're a, running fucking a background, background check. check. So yeah. now you're letting people into a country, country with nothing. Without running a check. Th that is that, ludicrous. That's, I, that is ludicrous. No, and then like they come here and then you say, me. okay, you can come here, but you can't work. Right. What the fuck is that? So now you're putting them in the worst fucking Position. situation You're possible. creating poverty. Totally. Totally. And with poverty comes crime. And I don't believe that that's automatic because you always have a choice to commit crime or not to. There's always a choice. I don't believe when people say, well, I'm impoverished, so that's, I had to steal. No, you always have a choice. But you are making, you are lessening their choices by opening the door. Totally. And saying, come here, knowing damn well they can't work. Right. What in the hell are they supposed to do? There's, right. So you're putting them in a terrible situation. Terrible. So if you want to make it easier to come here legally, and they then should do that. And they change should. the laws. Change the, do the, that. The bureaucracy of the government is disgusting. It is disgusting. And it always has been. They right. all they do is create different departments to make it harder to do fucking anything other than work for the government. So yeah, make it easier for people to come here. But also the fact that they're allowing them they're gonna give them voters' rights before they give them the right to work. Right, That's what does that tell you? So what, right, they're, they're, they're trying to. I don't know if this yeah. is something that's gonna happen, but they're, they're not saying anything about New getting York their City papers. New, New York, York City, City is least. trying to yeah. do that. They're not saying anything about getting their papers, their working papers sooner. They're trying to figure out how to get their, their them voting rights. Right. 
That should be the least. Should be the fucking thing. last thing that right. they're thinking about. Right. And it's just it's really offensive that they that the government, especially in New York City, they think that everyone's stupid. You know what I mean? And and then they have no problem housing them. Yeah. At the taxpayer's cost. Right. So it's it's like five hundred a room a night. Yeah. That the taxpayers are paying for. They give them free food, metro card a cell phone yeah and now they're giving them a stipend which they can't use for anything other than food they have to sign an affidavit right. that swears that they won't use it on anything else right which really right like really so you don't think 7-eleven's loving this liquor sale beer sales are gonna have to go through the, through roof. the fucking roof are right. you kidding me i mean and also it's like Nobody wants to see people treated horribly, right? Nobody. Nobody. I don't. Yeah. Um, but I also feel like if I'm going to go to another country, if somebody said, hey, you can go any any other country, this country is horrible, it's it's destitute, blah, blah, blah. Should I try to figure out their, their laws, any of them? I don't understand how all of these people are coming here not knowing that they can't work. What is their propaganda over there that's getting them Great to come question. here? Great question. And then they come here and they're shocked. They're like, I can't find work. Well, what did you think? What were you listening to? The cartel? Who were you listening to that told you, that took your money, that said that you could just come here and then work? I mean, there's a lack of communication at the very least, right? Would you go to another country and pack up your whole life without mm, seeing no. how am I going to work? Right. How am I going to make money? What is the economy over there? Right. Nothing. I mean, another thing that I said one time um, on a live TikTok live. I was just like, when we saw at Tom Tompkins Park. Square Park. Tompkins Square Park, just a bunch of men, no families. There were no families there. And I was thinking like, and I even watched a few YouTube videos where the men were like, well, I left my family back there and my plan is to make money and send it back home and bring them over later. But if it is so destitute and dangerous and impoverished, would you leave your kids? No. You would want to stay there to protect them. Right. If it was so, like, I mean, so dangerous. Like, you don't even know if they're going to survive if you leave. Would you leave? It's like, if your house is burning down, do you just run and leave oh, your do you kids? Go, right. Do you go back and try to save them? Your natural instinct. I, I'm not a parent, but I'm, right. I'm totally. <laughs> like, totally. Would, would you leave the house and go no. run and get help? No. Or would you try to go and you probably die trying to go in? Absolutely. So why... So either it's not that bad because I don't see like a man leaving his wife and children in a destitute, impoverished, unsafe place where they may not survive. It's one thing to come over when where they are is not as bad and you are sending money back and to, to build them up and to bring them over, right? Totally. But you, what I'm under the impression that you are seeking asylum, that your country is so unsafe, but you left your entire family there. That's a great point. So how about this? How about squatters' rights? Oh, my gosh. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? Yes. Yeah, like, who thought that doing something illegal would give you rights? Yeah. They are stealing somebody's home, apartment, whatever. Yeah. And they have rights. That makes no fucking sense. No, yeah. If I own a house, which I don't, but if I owned a house and then I left and somebody came in, broke in, which is trespassing, right? That's yeah. trespassing. I think you have, yeah, yeah. That's trespass, breaking and entering. I think you have to have the trespassing signs up or something. That's what somebody said. I saw I, it in I've, the comment. They were I like, saw that as well. That That is so stupid to me. Like, then everyone Be should have trespassing <laughs> right, signs up. But, the sales would go through the roof. But if somebody breaks in my house. It's breaking and entering, breaking right? breaking and entering. I mean. It's not like they walked on the lawn and I have a sign that's no trespassing. I don't understand how squatters have rights, though. Right. But the homeowner who owns that home yeah. has no rights. Look at this video. This is a video of a woman in Queens who was the owner of the house. You shouldn't be trying to steal my house. Yes, you are. So Adele, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested for being in my own home. Adele Andaloro says the intruders moved in about six weeks ago. Is that? Scumbags. I mean, what kind of state of mind do you have to be in to go in someone else's fucking house and live there? One state already changed the law on that. What the state? only state, was Florida. It Florida. I was going to say, yeah. was it Florida or the Texas? The only state. No, the only state. They made squatters' rights illegal. So now they have no rights. So they they should have no rights. I don't understand how a squatter 
ha- I don't understand how the word came about. And I don't know if this is what they intended, but I also think it's one of those things where they made a law with no fucking idea how no it idea. would be implemented in the future or, could or been, interpreted it, in the future. It could have been made like 200 years ago, which it, in fact it was. 200 years ago? Y- yes. Yes. During the gold rush and shit like that. That's when it was made. And the fact that we're still so using- So they just make laws and fucking forget about right, them? We're still using archaic laws that have nothing to do with today's society. Now they're manipulating the system. Of course. Course, which right. is what happens these people that are squatting are they you know stand-up citizens or what's going on they're stealing somebody's home so if i steal a car mm-hmm. i steal a car and i get pulled over by the cops right. can i say i have squatters rights you can't arrest me i have squatters rights well technically literally no because it has to be like 30 days or something right but right. If so st- I, I stole a car 30 days ago yeah so do i have squatters rights no i don't think no so. i stole a fucking car <laughs> They stole a house. I just... You have no rights. And then you have to take them to court because you have to prove to the court that they don't belong there. It's so ass backwards. The whole whole thing is ass backwards. No. So like criminals have more rights than we do. People who come here illegally have more rights than we do. Yeah. It makes no fucking sense. People steal homes have more rights than the homeowners. You you mentioned something there and there's a big, big debate where people say no one is illegal on stolen land. I want to take that further then. Where does that thought process stop? Because if no one is illegal on stolen land, then every Everything that you own is not legal because totally. this is stolen land. Totally. So the house that you own, the car that you own, the clothes that you yeah. own, the Gucci the jewelry, shoes you have, everything that you have is is not yours. No, so somebody else the can car, just take it. everything because it is all on stolen land. Right. Where does it stop? Why is it just applying to one single thing? You know what I mean? I, I was agree. thinking about that, and I. I was someone who literally thought that way. I, I I would be like, no one's illegal on stolen land. This land was stolen, and it's like. Well, then come into my store and take over my store. It's on stolen land. Anything's up for grabs. I don't think that we think through, like, where does that thought process stop? And if like, you don't have law and order, yeah, then you have chaos. And that's it's what either this one is. or the other. This is chaos. This, this is, is chaos. fucking this is chaos. chaos. People getting pushed in front of trains. And there's a this guy. There's a guy. I don't know if, he's, if, if he's Venezuelan. He was telling people how to squat. Be a squatter. <laughs> He called Americans stupid. He's he said, if you're an American, you're a slave. He said, I come here, I know how to work the system. I don't work. I make money off the government. That's what he said. And begging. Yeah. That's and what he does. So and begging. I saw that he had I think it was like five million likes or five, five million views or something. It was something like, like that. Something and like 500, that. Five hundred thousand followers. And interestingly enough, TikTok shut him down, mm-hmm. but Instagram and Facebook did not. So is that not as backwards again? The platform the government wants to shut down, TikTok, took off what he was doing because it was criminal. Right. But Facebook and Instagram. Which we they all love. The, they, need- they allowed him to stay up. Let's talk about the subway. You like riding the subway. I fucking hate it. I do not like riding the subway. Subway. Sometimes I am carrying a lot of things and I choose to take the subway because there's opportunity for me to get work done on my phone. I think the subway is a convenient... I think in theory, the subway is a convenient way for people to get around the city and a lot of people have to depend on it thousand percent i think the subway is dog shit though in terms of its cleanliness the the amount of insanity that goes on in the subway and um the fact that it's not kept up with the fact that there's a lot of theft of service makes me feel like a fucking idiot when i pay right every single time i pay i feel like i'm a fucking idiot because Remember when I we saw people, those three guys jumping over three. the turnstile? And one of them got stuck. One of them got fucking stuck. Right. Oh my gosh. Like, it makes me feel like, why don't I just steal? Right. One of the things that really pisses me off, though, about the subway is the oblivion that occurs with the people that ride the train. There will be a half naked fucking man spitting onto the floor, clipping his toenails, screaming at people. And you'll see a woman sitting right next to him right. with her AirPods on and her yoga pants on, Reading texting on her phone. Right. It's the it's- desensitization that has caused us to be okay with this person probably committing a crime somewhere down the line or probably has before. 
but that person's more likely to do something. Totally. And why are we normalizing that? Great question. When I see a crazy person, I walk out of the way. Yeah, of course. And I'm always watching. I don't walk, I don't walk around with headphones. I'm right, yeah, always watching. Yeah. The, the media and the narrative has made people feel bad for feeling like they shouldn't have to be subject to indecency. And so they feel like, you know what? Like this guy is, he may be but. But, but he's a human being. But he's a, and I have to, I shouldn't move away from him. He may be screaming and spitting in my face and, and, and saying that he's going to do violent things, but I should, you know, I should sit, I shouldn't. I have been on the train before where people have, I've told you the stories. People have either come way too close or have screamed in my face and Scream I move face. and people look at me like right. I'm bad. I have been verbally assaulted on the train. Remember that one video I took where the guy told me that yeah. he was going to beat the out of me to my face with his right. friends around me yeah and yeah. i filmed their feet because i was a, i was right. like if i put my camera up in their face they're gonna fucking beat the shit out of me people were looking around at me like i right. like i'm wrong to react normally so we normalize this now totally normalize it what are the main things that you hate about the train so i would rather walk uh, you know it's it's like just going to the subway seeing the the quality or lack of quality of people who live on the subway, you know, not using it for transportation, which is what it's meant for. There's a lot of people that would say that they feel bad for the person that has to live on the subway. I feel bad for them as well. Yeah. But there's like homeless shelters, right? I don't think they're, I think they're filled with- Migrants? Yeah, I think they kicked out the homeless people. I mean, like the government needs to figure this shit out. Yeah. If you want to have homeless shelters, then make them so they're acceptable to these people. Yeah. If people are batshit fucking crazy and they're too crazy to stand trial, it doesn't make sense to release them on the street. Totally. So yeah. either force them to go to a mental hospital, mm -hmm. whatever you call it. Force them. Don't give them a, a chance. No, do you want to go back in the street? Yeah. Of course they want to go back in the fucking street. Don't allow that. Right. Why would you subject someone else's health? Right? Yeah. Well, for oh, right. them who this are is a fucking public, crazy. Fucking health issue. It is. It's a public health it issue. Is. You're so you're subjecting. subjecting someone else. Right. To this indecency. Right. So you're more concerned totally. about the, their, their rights. rights and their comfort. But they're fucking Either they're crazy or they're a criminal. Right. And the other thing is like these people want their independence. Because when I think and I and I was homeless and I I did I was not going to a shelter. But I think that shelters have rules. Like you have to be in by nine or you have to, you can't have drugs, you can't. Well drink. shelters should have rules, right? Right, right. and there I there should be rules. But, you should not have drugs. Right. And these peop and these people, they don't want those rules. They don't want those rules, so they choose to be on the streets. I've, we've seen it. We've seen the homeless outreach go up to people. I remember I saw it in yeah, front of Starbucks totally. in Grand Central, and the guy refused, totally. and they closed Starbucks for fucking three days right. because he didn't want to move, right. and he didn't have to move. Right. So he was allowed to shut a business down for three days. So obviously, not he's not all there. So why would it? Why would you not force him right, to yeah. be institutionalized and try to get him medical attention? Medical attention. Try to get him something. A lot of on people on meds on something. Yeah, a lot of people will disagree with. I remember when. I don't know if it was Adams or whoever said that they were going to go and start rounding up homeless people. They're like, it's not a crime to be homeless. It's correct. And I doubt the police would actually work and go around to these people. I think that what people were reading was the headline and not exactly what they were proposing, that if the person seemed to be mentally unfit to be on the street, they were going to bring them to a shelter, a hospital, an institution. People were outraged. They were like, how dare you round up the homeless? And it's not illegal to be homeless. It's like, no, it's not. But it is illegal to block private business totally. and be on people's totally. property. And to make p other, and other people people's lives more difficult to totally. live in public. Absolutely. That is illegal. And if it they is. are doing that. It's illegal to, be, to yeah. double park. Fucking yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is yes. illegal. You get a yes. ticket for doing that. Totally. But if you are a crazy person, you can sleep in front of somebody's store and yeah. they can't ask you to leave. Totally. And they don't get a ticket. Right. 100%. If you're crazy, go to a fucking hospital. They have caused what they have wanted to cause, chaos. And now there's they have no idea how to fucking clean it up. No idea. They have, they're not smart enough. They have no, and I, when I say they, I mean the, the government, the people in charge. Mm -hmm. They have, they have, they're not smart enough to figure out how to clean it up. 
They're too fucking afraid to clean it up the way that it should be cleaned up. They have no work ethic to clean it up. They do not care to clean it up. They just want to get reelected. They want to get reelected. They want to continue laundering money. They want to continue hiring their friends. They want to continue partying. They want to continue being in office and they don't give a fuck about any of us. Anything. They or you guys. No, right. No, they don't give, they don't they give don't, a fuck. You may think they care about you. Not one single not politician one. gives a fuck See, but about one you. One of them should want to be the hero. But it's too hard to get elected. As being a hero. Totally. Totally. Cleaning shit up. Because you have all up. these lobbyists paying you oh, off. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, the lobbyists. Right. Oh, God. Those are the... So Pharmaceutical I don't know companies. who's more evil, a politician or a lobbyist. Right. Politicians just stupid. Lobbyists are smart. because yeah, they, they're smart. They, they're very yeah, smart. X amount of dollars. But the, their negotiation skills, the lobbyists and the strings that they pull to get what they want, they're smarter than the politicians. Totally. And they and own I personally the don't politicians. Think they own, yeah, they're bald. They own them. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> it's a puppet, right? Because the thing is, if you're Somebody's not. Somebody's pulling the strings to yeah, a puppet. Yeah, it's a puppet show. Right. The, the, the only way the puppet show stays on is because the people keep paying to go to the fucking puppet show. Right. And by paying, I mean voting. Totally. I get it, right? With the puppet show. Right. It's like the show's coming in, what is it, November? Here, p purchase your ticket now. Totally. And pay. And also, you can buy seats at the day of the show, too. Totally. It's like, and get your KY jelly. <laughs> and they don't want the citizens to take it into their own hands. No, you see we what saw what happened. That happened. Right. We saw what happened. Right. Talking about the guy on the train. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean... No one's saying anyone deserves to die. No one deserves to die. But look, we're all gonna die. I'm not. I'm not the one to say someone deserves or not. There's. There's one person that could say that. I, that's not me. What I will say, I have been in situations in front of the store where our neighbors have to had to come over and step in between and almost. Assault. I would not have given a fuck what happened to the guy who was going to assault me. I would have wanted someone to handle it how they saw. That they should handle it. Um, this is a grown man. This is a fucking grown man. Going after a woman who's by herself. Yes. Right. Yes. Saying yeah. what he's about to right. do to me. How about when the guy with the pipe came in the store? Oh, yeah. That. I mean, why don't you... You, you posted that on... I did. I posted it on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of them, YouTube. With the camera footage. With the camera footage. Because I was right. like, absolutely fucking not. I'm, not. I'm not concealing this man's identity. He's walking around the neighborhood with a fucking pipe. And he's Six going to pipe. snap. Right. right. So like as a man and I mean as a white man because I know that you are I mean I feel like the one thing about like us being in an interracial relationship it's like if anything were to happen to me and you protected me you would be demonized. Totally. Y your life would be over if the person was black 100%. And, and this but, So if push came to shove I'm not thinking of that at the time because no, I no. don't give a fuck of course you're not who thinking the that. other person is. So That's if what they I'm go thinking. to harm you and you did nothing wrong yeah, no, right. And, you know, it's like survival of the fittest. So, like, when the guy came in, what was your, like, first instinct? I just fucking jumped up. And I was yeah, like, I no, dude, no, no. I was like, fuck. No. I was like, it's going to no. happen today. And no. I was, like, ready to grab the bat. I was like, and, and I was sitting It's there. a small store. So, in my head, I'm like, for him to pick that six-foot pipe up, yeah. it's going to take him a minute. And I will fucking punch him in yeah. his face. Yeah. And then it's, like, human reaction. Like, you just snap. Totally. I would have jumped in and helped you beat the f out of that totally, guy. Totally. Totally. Like, 100%. and then you and I would have gone to jail. We would have gone to jail. He would have totally. been fine. And that's what right. the, that's what they said. Right. That's what the cops. That's said. what the we, cops said. We cops. would be going to right. jail. Right. And he, they said, is mentally ill. Then he should not. That goes back to what I, I was said. Like, wait, then he what? should not be on the yeah. streets. How about the key guy? Yeah, he's fucking crazy. How about I was here? I was actually. On the phone, I think at the time, I told my mom what was going on. Tell them who the key guy is. The key guy is a guy in our neighborhood, um, Lower East Side, by our store, who literally has the keys to every apartment in this one complex. He is, um, we don't know his past. We just know that he is a crazy motherfucker. He is absolutely <sighs> insane, but he chooses his victims based on their race. He's a black man. He only yells at white men and women and sometimes asian men and women he does not yell at anyone black so um there's that and he walks up and down the block literally 
screaming. And I'm not talking about your little like, hey, hey, like to himself. He screams at you and he will follow you however many blocks he wants to screaming like, I'll fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you up. Like in your ear, like close to you. And he's he's been a he's been um confronted by a few people. He got punched in he the face. He got punched last in the year. face last Deservingly year. Deservingly so. Deservingly by a man who was like not from here, probably but I think he was Texas or Texas, some yeah, shit. He he's wasn't, like, you know, we he ain't playing. And he turned around and punched him in the right. face. And he's been arrested. He's been arrested several we've, times. Right, we've personally seen him be arrested. Yes. So the last Let time, out the next day. The last time that he got arrested, he was walking with a pipe. And I saw him walk by with a pipe. And I was like, we typically have this joke with each other where, where if one of us are at the store and the other one's not at the store, we'll be like, oh, the key guy's on another one today. And we just text each other. We're like, the key guy's on another one. And we just sort of laugh because we know what that means. That means he's going crazy. And he's screaming at everyone and anyone could be a victim. So this day, he was he walked right by the store with a pipe. And before I could text John and tell you that he was on another one, because I was like, I've never seen him with a pipe. I've seen him with a fucking skateboard, a bicycle, trash bags, never a pipe. I was like, yo, he's on one today. 20 minutes later, cops are pulling up. I see this guy who looks like he was maybe Vietnamese or something. He's holding his head. The key guy had him over the head with the on the corner him while he was on the ground so this man who only verbally people or people has now escalated which typically is what happens when you have people that do that thing things escalate he was arrested the guy filed a report literally the next day he's walking up to the sidewalk with a bike going right into the convenience store that's next door and i told you and Smoke i was shot. like and he's screaming at people he's screaming oh, yeah he's literally back doing the same thing and i tell you i'm like yo the key guy's back he just this guy this man had down his face has never been here before i've never seen him walk down the street before what's the chances of him coming back and supporting the small businesses never. on the street never never thank you so yeah. not only did he ruin this man's day probably traumatize him for life he also caused businesses to suffer because why would he tell any of his friends to come back over here he would not he'd be like i got Park Stay down. out of that neighborhood. Stay, don't go to that neighborhood. So right. I go into the convenience store after he leaves, but I know he's not going to yell at me because he doesn't yell at black people. I go into the convenience store and I ask the guy, I was like, what, what was he in here? He was like, man, he was in here bragging how he got arrested yesterday and he's back out. And I was like, no, he, no shit. And he was like, he was like, he's not showing up for court, but you know how he talks. There's no <laughs> consequences. <laughs> but see, like, when right. there's no consequences. Right. And he's not showing up for his fucking no, he's court date. Please. Please, right. Right. how is that not attempted? That's his right. head. Well, you have all these soft DAs. They're gonna say, "Well, that's not really violent." Is that violence? Well, it is. is if that... they're the ones getting right. their fucking but head smashed. I'm sorry. Bring your son and daughter on right. the street. Let it happen to them. You tell right. me what you want to happen to that person. Totally. He's going to do something terribly one day. I don't care if it takes five days right. or fifty fucking years. Well, no, it's the same. It's like the guy who arrested twenty one times. Yeah. At certain At what point, point, it's the breaking point. And maybe the twenty second is when you kill somebody. When the, when the cop gets so, shot, right? So, so that's how the many breaking... opportunities right. do you give? One? So it's that's the only thing you go to jail for now. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. So there were two guys in the car when they kill a cop. I, I just read this today, mm -hmm. and the guy who was driving was previous, and he had a gun on him as well. With the uh, the uh, they scratched scratch the serial number. The serial number scratched. I'm that. sorry. The only time you scratch the serial number is when you want to commit You're an illegal no crime. Good. Right. Of course. Really. Right, honestly. Right. right. So he had previously been charged with attempt, and they knocked. What? Yeah, he, the the guy driving had previously been charged with attempt, and they knocked it down, and they knocked it How? down, and they let him out on seventy five thousand dollar bond. Okay. Yeah, like so yeah, they say. No, yeah. you didn't try to kill him. You just right. they tried to down. what? They knocked it down. Oh. Yeah, but they knocked it down. Oh too, my but, goodness. Yeah. So now he's out. Oh. Honestly, like if people looked at the percentages of people who have been re arrested multiple times, if they looked at the percentages of people that really changed their life over, it's so small. There are anomalies. We know a few. Yeah, totally. We know people who have totally. done time and they have changed their life around. That is such They've a small They've been arrested one Once. time and they cleaned it up. And they cleaned it up. So like so if, somebody if you who's don't learn the first after, time. Right. If you don't learn after the first time. If you go back 15 times, 10 yeah. times, 9 times, 15, 20, Three times. 21, 22, th four times. Like right. are you? You kidding me no then you're to me like are you kidding then me? that's habitual like, and you are not right going everyone to deserves it i mean it well, I everyone deserves a second chance do they deserve a third chance
chance, a 21st chance, no, a 22nd no. chance? No, and I, I Where do you draw the line? Oh, yeah, like, if you do some petty theft or whatever, and then you get your, like, like yeah, second chance. Totally fine. thousand percent. You're fucking coming back four and five times. I don't think, I don't. No. I don't know. It's like, hello, sir. <laughs> yeah. Sir. Like, hey, Are yeah. you an idiot? Like, I don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, I... They have created such a chaotic city that I read a lot in the comments that people say like these people deserve care and they deserve, you know, to be helped. They need help. I'm, not, I'm okay giving them help. When it's going to them, not when it's going right back in the politician's pocket. Well, I agree with that. Right. But if to if giving them help means putting them back on the street, that is not no, the fucking no, 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 answer. No, right. I believe in if giving, giving them, them help. If giving them help means, no, you're going to a hospital until you're okay to be released. Yeah. You, and you the cannot, money goes to them, not to the politicians. Right, but you cannot go out and harm people again. You can't no, do yeah, that. No, you can't society do that. can't function. Right, you can't. Yeah, society cannot function when the same people yeah. are doing the same thing over yeah. and over and over again. That's a definition of insanity. Yeah, for sure. When you do the same thing over and over again, you're insane. And chaos is, is right. crazy. So you should not be out there. I agree with you. We have hope for New York. Yeah, I just do. feel like we need all different people in power. I don't think anything would happen under the control of... I just don't think anything can happen with who's in power right now in, in like in the government. It well, it went can't. bad when uh, de Blasio served his- He should never come out in public again. So first of all, like he was elected and everybody on both sides hated him. And then they reelected him And again. then he got reelected. Which so is stupid. A, the definition of <laughs> insanity sorry, again. But like, how are right. you going to complain and hate somebody like right. so much? And then you put them right back in so office. So it took like eight years for him to fuck everything up. And yeah. now and we now have another two years of, of him the fucking same up. bullshit. Yeah, awful people. So now 10 years of bullshit. Which was going to take 20 years to bring so it back. So it's going to take a while to bring it back. Unless you get someone in who's like, I don't give a fuck what right. you guys think. I'm cleaning this shit up. Totally. And then everyone's going to hate him. But they're secretly love it. They'll be able to function better. I mean, but like, gonna, like, let's make them. the city safe. Yeah. Well, you guys... We hope that you enjoyed this episode. We know Stay it was a, safe. It was a pretty heavy episode, but um, we promised that we would give you guys more candid content. A lot of you are going to love it, and a lot of you are going to hate it, and we're sure that we offended somebody. But we always tell you guys, if you're going to be on any of our platforms, have an open mind, have a sense of humor, have a thick skin. Yeah, I mean, that's key. Be open-minded. Yeah. Look at things from both sides. Totally. And basically, we all want the same thing, right? We want safety. So let's figure out how to make that happen. I will listen to both sides of everything i will never again be consumed by one side i think the sooner that more people do that and they and they think for themselves and they don't repeat rhetoric that they've heard on any mainstream media you just do the research you think for yourself you come up with your own thoughts i think that there's more conversation that can be had all right guys thank you so much for hanging out with us we will see you next time bye peace